Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. In today's Rose Kakana with Figaro olive oil, I'm going to be making Arbi Ka Salin. It's a delicious North Indian Avad style gravy which is cooked in a yogurt and spices like cardamom, cinnamon and bay leaves. So without wasting any time, let's just dive right in and start cooking. To begin making the Arbi Ka Salin, the first step is to roast the ginger, onion and garlic and then we're going to grind it into a smooth paste. So into the pan, I'm going to pour in some olive oil. I'm going to add in the onions, finely chopped onions. And some finely chopped ginger and garlic. I'm going to saute the onions ginger and garlic in the olive oil for about three to four minutes until the onion is softened. So when you actually cook the onions first and then grind it into a paste, what happens is all the raw smell goes away and your curry gets a nice roasted flavor and is also nice thick and great and has a good gravy-like consistency. Okay, so we we'll just roast it for a few minutes. Notice the onions are softened and are turning light brown in color. At this stage, I'm going to turn off the heat, allow it to cool a bit, and then we'll put it in the mixer grinder and grind it into a smooth paste. The next step in making the Arbika Salin is to make the gravy, right? So we have a few more processes for it. So I'm going to be sauteing some sliced onions. So into my pan, adding some more olive oil. And I have some sliced onions here, which I'm going to roast until it softens really well. Okay. Do you know olive oil is rich in monounsaturated fats? So cooking your everyday foods in olive oil is really good for your heart. It's healthy too and the best part is it doesn't even alter the taste of your food. And notice that the onions are getting softened and it's getting lightly caramelized and this is exactly the texture that we want. At this stage I'm going to add in some whole spices and that's cinnamon, some cardamom and cloves, okay? And I'm also going to add in some bay leaves. I'm going to tear them apart and give it a stir. Increase the heat a little bit at this stage and so that you can smell the aromas of the spices coming through. We'll just saute it for a few more seconds and we'll go ahead with the rest of the masalas, okay? Now the next thing that we need to add is, remember we ground the onion ginger garlic paste. I'm going to add that in. So this particular paste is going to add to the gravy of the salin because the salin is a yogurt based dish that I'm making today. Uh, so this onion garlic paste will help the yogurt from curdling as well as adding to the thickness of the curry. Okay, so I'm just going to stir fry it. Since it's already roasted, we don't have to cook it for too long. I'm going to go ahead and add the remaining spices and that's some red chili powder. Add it according to taste. Some garam masala. Coriander powder, very important. And finally, some turmeric powder. Roast the masala along with the spices. So what this also does is if there's any more raw smell lingering in the uh, onion, ginger and garlic, all that will go away because it will be spiced up with all these masalas, right? So notice it's all coming together very well. We'll turn the heat to low and I'm going to add in the yogurt, that is dahi. And salt. and the arbi. Arbi is kulakesha. I've already cooked it, boiled it, peeled it and diced them into thick rounds. So I'm going to add this into it. We'll give it a stir and we'll simmer the arbi kasalan now for about five to six minutes until you see the gravy coming through and the arbi has absorbed all the spices and the masala. Right? So we'll just give it a stir. It's been about five minutes that the Arbi Kasalan has been simmering and I can smell delicious flavors of the spices coming through. It looks great, it's got a nice consistency as well. 
And that's it, the salad is ready. Wasn't it really simple? It's a healthy dish that you prepared in less than 30 minutes and you can have it along with some fulkas or steamed rice for dinner. Do watch us for more Rose Kakana recipes made with Figaro olive oil. So until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.